I think the trend's still intact. They'll probably beat, which means 100% uh, percent better than last year, which is just remarkable. Now, I'll mention this. Last quarter, they did triple the amount of revenue they did the quarter or the year before. So it is actually slowing. Even at 100% growth in revenue, it is wow. slowing. Um, and I think you're going to want to hear a little bit about how does the, this quarter look and how does that Blackwell chip that's going to come out next year look. But I think bottom line is the bloom is off the rose, uh, as my friend uh, Bob Killen says, a money manager. I think at this point, everybody's in this trade. Everybody loves the stock way too much. It trades at 47 times forward earnings. Um, and I think you can get a short term move here. But like the big money's out, big hedge fund managers like David Tepper, they've already sold. Um, so I think bottom line is it's only a matter of time here uh, for the stock to actually go the other way. I, there were efforts to try to produce these chips out of Taiwan. Uh, with all of the geopolitical issues going on. And then there were also efforts to try to get a better feeling on how much corporate America is spending on these, uh, you know, very advanced AI chips. Because for the last couple of years, it's been largely the large technology companies spending money on this, right? But are we going to see a broader effort from corporate America investing in these kinds of chips? And is that the next level leg of yeah. growth? I don't think it is. I think this could be a wait and see. At some point, you're going to see a return on investment because there is no return on investment, by the way. Right now, you have make tech companies buying you know, billions and billions of dollars into these chips, yet we'd have no idea what the return is going to look like. And arguably, you might just have to spend that money to compete, which means their margins could actually get uh, you know, eaten up a little bit here. And if you look at the Magnificent Seven, their growth is decelerating. Meanwhile, if you look at another 160 companies in the S&P 500, they're growing at 25% earnings, but you're not getting that growth. You're diluted because the mega cap names run that whole index. Mm. So, like, I think right now is the best time to rediversify. We know the Fed's going to cut interest rates. Anything rate sensitive right now, whether it's real estate, utilities, they're starting to move. Valuations are a lot cheaper. So it's just like start putting your money somewhere else. I mean, we're in the late innings here, yeah. and I think that a lot of investors are still just clamoring, getting into this trade, and that's going to be problematic at some point. No one's going to warn you ahead of time.